You know, usually you say chance. You're like, yeah, like, you know, everybody's got a chance, right? But it's also not the beginning of the year anymore, right? We're talking about, we're talking about, we're later in the year. We're we're in the week twelve, okay? And yeah, they have a chance. So I mean, I like it's hard not to agree with it, even though like I don't think they're going to win it, right? There's like I can have it both ways because it's it's the same chance, right? So I don't like yeah, they have a chance. I mean, they got to go five and one. Eagles, and then you got to hope that the Cowboys stub their toe in other spots too. So it's not even about you just going five and one. I mean, they got to stub their toe a little bit as well here, and then you play them. So I I, I don't know. Like I, I still think the Cowboys are better than us, right? But they're obviously not playing better than us currently. But we also have to show we also have to show that we can we can continue to do what we've been doing, right? Because the time we played them, that's all we have to go off of. They boat raced us. So they still feel like they're a better football team than us, right? And they've been they've been struggling a little bit. But also let's remember who they've been struggling off of outside of yesterday, right? I mean, there's all teams we lost to. You know, a lot of these teams are teams we we've lost to. So yeah, they got a chance, guys. I mean, it, it, Sunday really, you know, Sunday really puts it in that conversation. The Eagles have won obviously their last the three of their last four. Cowboys have lost three of their last four. And the Cowboys defense, for whatever reason, it, I, I, just, I say it all the time, they pop their cherry too early because their defense at the beginning of the year, the first half of the year, they looked fantastic. And since then, especially these past four games, they I mean, they're, they're still good. Micah Parsons helps, obviously. Trayvon Diggs is great. They have a lot of great players, but for, it just hasn't been the same, right? It hasn't looked the same. And I saw Cowboys fans on Twitter last night being like, oh, well, we didn't have C.D. Lamb. We didn't have... Uh, oh my God! Who else did they did, didn't have? Amari Cooper, Amari. Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott was banged up. At, but no, he the, just saw it. it. Still could have won the game. <laughs> the, they still had, they had the game in their hands. And they it, it, again, typical Cowboys. This is what always happens. And Cowboys fans know this. If you're realistic and you don't subscribe to the fact that oh, oh we can go to the Super Bowl this year, we can go to the Super Bowl next year, we go to the Super Bowl. Happens. And like it's Steve, year. Stephen, a, we didn't like believe. Stephen A. Smith always says, "What can go wrong." Will go wrong. Now yeah. I'm not saying that the Cowboy ship is burning down or anything yeah, like that because they still have a, they yeah. still have a, they still have a favorable schedule. Obviously, outside the Cardinals, Washington's a shakeup for me, me personally, because they're a competitive team still. Tyler Taylor Heineke, pretty good in my opinion. Pretty good. Their deep the Washington's defense isn't obviously what we thought it would be, but still, they're they're a competitive team. They're a tough team, but. I just think the Cowboys are hot, or the Cowboys. The Eagles are too hot right now. Obviously, Jordan Howard's out. But like Tom said, if we can win Sunday, then it's all on the table. Obviously, is there a chance? Sure, maybe, possibly. Like, But I just think the Cowboys are just better. Like, They have a better defense. They have three stud wide receivers. They have two solid running backs. You know, Obviously, I don't trust Mike McCarthy as far as I can throw him. Yesterday aside, seeing that performance from the Cowboys, um, the complete kind of light switch change that the Eagles have made since they started running the ball. Um, you know, they're the number one running football team in the league. Um, I, I, it's it's hard to not look at that and be like, that's winning football. Um, I, I know everybody wants to look at it now and they could be like, you know, this is a passing league quick score, you know, this, that, that, this, that. Um, but at the end of the day, every time that I, you know, focus on something, it, it's always time of possession. I, you see time of possession and 99% of the time, that's, you know, who pulls out the W. Um, so it, it's hard for me to look at it and be like, all right, well, you know, I, I'm with Pete. Like if they got a full complement of players, it is going to be hard because as much as time of possession that we can control, Dallas can score just like that. Um, so it is, it's kind of a catch 22. Like, yeah, we can, we can control the ball, but at the same token, if we do have to play Dallas in the playoffs, they can score just as quick as we can control the clock. So, um, but I mean, as far as what we've seen the last few weeks, I don't know if you're an Eagles fan, how you don't look at this 
and be like, we have a chance to win this division, let alone we're going to make the playoffs. Book it. Let's go, Marlik. Marlik said, just ordered my Manscaped. Thanks for the discount. I hope it's worth it. Brother, it's worth it. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code HUD at manscaped.com. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Great product. I'm going to say, clean myself up today. I feel I feel better as a man. Great Every stuff. Summer. Yeah, yeah, really excited about it. So 20% off and free shipping with the code ATD at manscaped.com. We're just kind of looking at all the giving. Look at all the giving. It's just constant. Now you get back to your lady. Now that's your job. We gave to you. You get back to your lady. Done and done.